Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial where we will learn how to create a dynamic calendar that highlights holidays as well. If you haven't watched the previous videos, I recommend you do so to build a strong foundation in Excel from basics to advanced concepts. Let's get started. As a first step, I have already added a list of holidays and formatted the cells accordingly. Now, Let's add the current month and year in cells B3 and F3. Next, input the headers for the days of the week, from Monday to Sunday. Since we now have the current month entered, we need to determine the starting day of the month. To do this, we'll use the date value formula. Input the formula and include one within double quotes while concatenating the month and year from cells B3 and F3. Now that we have the start date for the current month, we can proceed to fill the calendar accordingly. Use the sequence function. Since we have six rows, specify six for the rows argument. For columns, enter seven to represent the days of the week. Next, select the cell where the start date is calculated, then subtract the weekday of the first day of the month. For the return type, we want the days to be labeled from Monday to Sunday, so we'll choose 2, close the bracket, add 1 to it, and specify a step of 1 to increment the count by 1 for each day. Now, you can see that the calendar has been generated with the custom date format of D to display only the date. If you wish, you can use double D to include a leading zero for single digit dates. To differentiate weekends, select the range of Saturday and Sunday, and change the font color to red. However, there's a catch. The calendar includes dates from the previous and upcoming months as well. To overcome this issue, we can utilize conditional formatting. Here's how you can do it. Select the entire calendar range and navigate to the conditional formatting option. Choose new rule and select the use a formula to determine which cells to format option. Enter the following formula in the formula box. This formula checks if the month of the current cell is not equal to the month of the date in cell 1, which represents the current month. Format the cells by setting the font color to match the background color. This will effectively hide the dates from the previous and upcoming months. Apply the formatting and observe that the cells for previous and upcoming months are now obscured. If you change the month or year, the formatting will automatically adjust to show the relevant dates for the selected month. For highlighting holidays, select the range of dates that correspond to the holidays, go to Conditional Formatting, and choose New Rule again. Enter the COUNTIF function, where the list of holidays range for the cell B6 should be less than zero else, if not, Format it accordingly. Format the cells to your preference, such as changing the font color and style. You can also style it to be bold italic if you wish. Apply the formatting. Now, the holiday dates will be highlighted according to your formatting settings. However, there's a slight issue to address. Since we've added a new rule for highlighting holidays, it overrides the previous rule that had dates from other months. To address this, Select the range again and go to Manage Rules within Conditional Formatting. Reorder the rules so that the rule for hiding dates from other months is at the top. Check the option Stop if true for this rule. This ensures that if the first rule is true, Excel will not apply subsequent rules. Apply the changes. Now, even though you have the rule for highlighting holidays, the rule for hiding dates from other months will take precedence. This allows you to have both functionalities without conflict. With these steps, you've successfully created a dynamic calendar with conditional formatting to highlight holidays and manage the display of dates from previous and upcoming months. Feel free to change the month and year to see the calendar update accordingly. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.